104th Battle of the Bronx took center stage at Manhattan College Wednesday night where the hosts were too much for Fordham, winning 81-47 before a sellout crowd at Dratty Gymnasium. While the Rams defeated the Jaspers last year at Fordham in top of four his first season at Rose Hill, this year's installment was about Manhattan's new leading man, Steve Masiello. The Jaspers led by as many as 11 in the first half and carved up an impressive double-digit win in the 100th anniversary of the first meeting between the two. Ironically, Manhattan won that one as well, 20 to 19 in the 1911-12 season. Massiello, who has sparked a turnaround in Riverdale, has the Jaspers at six and four and didn't hesitate when asked how important this game was to him and his team. And at any given night, and this is the beauty of the team, is why I love coaching. You don't know who's going to step up for us and make big plays, and, and uh, that, that's a great, great privilege to have. They're playing smart. They're playing, uh, and I told them, I said, guys, don't worry about turning the crowd on. Turn them on with your defense, and they did that tonight. Bacora echoed similar sentiments about the importance of this matchup, one that the Jaspers have taken three of the last four times and lead 54-50 all time. You know, this is the kind of rivalry, and, and, and it's wonderful to be a New Yorker and to be part of this. I'm sure Steve feels the same way. But I don't think this rivalry was ever off track. I think records go out the window with games like this. But uh, this obviously is the longest standing rivalry, and, and, it's, uh, and, it, and it's a great one. So. The Rams, who were paced by freshman guard Devin McMillan's 12 points, are now 3-4. and four. As for the Jaspers, their man of the hour was freshman Emmy Andujar. Fittingly, the kid from the Bronx was named the John Doc Johnson MVP of the Battle of the Bronx. He exploded for 14 points, seven rebounds, and a career-high seven assists in the victory. I give all my credit to, to my guard, my big man. When I get beat, Ramel helps me out a lot. He's a great shot blocker. He, he worked hard, and it's no days over this coach. Junior co-captain George Beeman added 15 points and spurred the Jaspers early. Oh yeah, man. like you said, our offense, anybody can have a good shooting night. It's up in the air. Call my number, my teammates found me, extra pass, I hit the shots. We just played an overall good game. Massiello praised Emmy, his squad, and the crowd for their high energy. Needless to say, the Battle of the Bronx didn't disappoint. It's a great atmosphere, the way it should be. It's what college basketball is in a rivalry game. Our fans are tremendous, a major, major advantage for us. That's where our guys deserve all the credit because they, they're playing smart, they're playing, uh, and I told them, I said, guys, don't worry about turning the crowd on. Turn them on with your defense, and they did that tonight.